And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Today I have a little guest with me. This is my son, and he's seven years old. Can you say hi? Hi. And we are going to be painting these snowflakes in watercolor. Okay, are you excited? Yeah. Okay, let's get started. The materials you need to paint these snowflakes are your watercolor paper. We have cut our cans and watercolor paper into these little squares. This one's a size three by three, and we're gonna be able to put this either in a frame or in a little card. And you also need your snowflakes. We printed these off. You can freehand one, but they're a little bit tricky. And so we just three size them in in design. You could also use Word to get them to the size that you need. And I think I'm gonna try this design today and my son's gonna try this design. You also will want your graphite tracing paper to be able to trace these onto your watercolor paper. You need your water and you need your watercolors. We're just gonna be using our blues today. Payne's gray, I've got some indigo over here. This is Prussian blue, ultramarine blue, and we probably won't be using cerulean. Just sticking with these colors. You're also going to need some masking fluid, and this is my favorite. It's the Winsor Newton watercolor colorless art masking fluid. It comes off really easily and doesn't leave any stains behind. Then you'll just need your brushes, and this is a this is a cheap watercolor brush that I use for my masking fluid. And then when I paint my watercolor, I will be using a Princeton Velvet Touch size eight. The first thing I wanna do is tape down my snowflake pattern. And I put my graphite paper shiny side down between the snowflake and my watercolor paper. And I'm just gonna go ahead and trace this with my pencil. Now I'll pull this up and see if I traced everything correctly. And it looks like I traced it all so we can move on to my sons. So now I'm going to do what my mom did. We're going to take down the snowflake and trace it with a red pen. It looks good, so now we're going to move on to the masking fluid. Now that we have our snowflakes traced, we just need to grab our masking fluid and our small brush and paint over the lines of the snowflakes. I'm just taking the very tip of my brush and lightly tracing over these lines so the masking fluid doesn't get too thick. And this one's finished. Now it's my turn. This part can be a little hard, but it can also be fun. We thought it would be fun to splash some masking fluid on our paper. So I'm just going to take my toothbrush and dip it in my masking fluid and flick the bristles back to give us a splashy effect. And for this last part, I just dipped the back of my brush into the masking fluid to create some bigger dots. Once your masking fluid has fully dried, it's time to take your watercolors and paint over it. So I'm just mixing some puddles of ultramarine blue and Payne's gray. And I'm using Prussian blue. And we're just going to take these colors and start dabbing them on top of the snowflake. You just wanna keep alternating your colors and make sure that you're covering every spot between the snowflakes so that it'll really show up good in the end. When it's all covered with blue, you can splash some water on it to add some details. Okay, so now these have dried. We're just going to 
see if we like them, how they look. Yours stayed nice and dark, don't you think? Yes. So I don't know if you need to do another layer, but I might. Mine kind of. Mm, I'll just do another layer on mine really quickly. And then we can take your masking fluid off while we wait for mine to dry. Does that sound good? Yep. Okay, what do we think of that? Yeah, so I like good? it. You like it? Yep. Okay, we'll let mine dry. And you get to take the mask and put it off. This is the fun part. Okay. Okay, we're ready to take the mask and fluid off. So we're grabbing this masking fluid picker upper. Yep, and just go ahead and start rubbing. You know, bring all the masking fluid up. Good, keep doing that. So cool, huh? Okay, now if you think there are some spots that need to be like made a little bit skinnier, like our masking fluid got kind of um, thick right there, okay. we can go back in with our paint. So we pick up some Prussian blue right here. You can make this. A little bit skinnier. Do you see any other spots, bud? Um, let's check like right on the side. Just kind of inside right here. Maybe yeah. this could get a little bit skinnier. Good. You make this darker. How's that look? Good. You like it? Yeah. Okay, so now that mine is dry, we can take off the masking fluid here. Let's see how fun that is when it comes up. It shows your snowflake underneath. It's cool, huh, bud? Yeah. Now we can try and erase the graphite paper marks even more. If they don't come up and they bother you, we can put paint white over them. See how they don't erase all the way? Yeah. Do you want to put some white over it? Yeah. So I have this Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay. All right, so there's our snowflakes. Now we're going to put these in our frames and our card. Okay, I found these envelopes on Amazon. They're just called Square Trifold Photo Aperture Cards. And I really like them because when you put your little painting on them, they look like they're matted in a little mat. So should we put yours in here, bud? Yeah. I think that looks awesome. So let's grab some tape. On here. Grab our card. Figure out where the center is. Tell me when you like it. Does that look good? Yeah. Is that there? Okay. Mm -hmm. Take the other side. Okay, now we'll take this little part down. You can write your message right here, and then the card folds just like that. Isn't that cute? Yeah. It looks awesome. Good job, bud. Then I found these cute tiny frames at Michael's and they're just for three inch by three inch paintings. So I'll put my snowflake in here. And there you have a cute little snowflake framed and ready to put up for a decoration or to give away as a little gift. It's a super fun project for you and your kids to do together, and it's really easy. Did you have fun, Trevor? Yeah. Okay, what did you think about our project? I liked using the masking fluid, um, like how it doesn't get covered by the paint. Isn't that cool? Um, and I like how like the eraser actually erases the paint. Awesome. And who do you want to give that little snowflake card to? Um... 
my cousin. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow.